stuck capturing the mood and the moments of the big event. Like, you know, Metallica coming to talk? Like, talk. No way. Uh-uh. That ain't gonna happen. Not only Metallica, but 500 contest winners from North America are also on their way to the Arctic Circle. Well, that was a commercial. This is the real thing. After months of advertising, the Molson-sponsored Polar Ice Beach Party is about to begin. They hope to strike a power chord into the heart of every grunge groupie and metalhead fan by staging an exclusive rock concert with four of the hottest bands touring. It's a new way to advertise beer. But what will it do to the isolated Arctic community of Tuft Tuktoyaktuk? They don't even have a video arcade, let alone rock concerts. We're here for the weekend to find out. Met class, visions of Metallica dance in their heads. Everyone in Tuck is invited. Instead of just seeing a concert on TV, they'll be there. What I'd like you to do is come on up and bring a chair with you and come on up real close to me because I'm going to tell you a couple of little secrets. So what I would like you to do is tell your friends, okay, after school, to stay away from the tent. We have some fences up there and we all know what fences are for. Fences are to keep people on one side. We don't put that there because we're mad or angry at you people. We put them there because we want you to be safe. And to show you how special you are, you will get a special pass that says you're a guest of the show, okay? There it is there. You'll have a little string like me, and as I said, you'll be just as important as everyone else there. The band will come up into the gymnasium here and sign autographs for you. What are you guys doing this weekend? Yeah, I can go to the concert. The concert. What are you all doing this weekend? Going to the concert. Who do you want to hear? Metallica. Metallica. And Hole. Hole's Courtney Love became a big hit here with teenagers as soon as they heard the name on the bill and as soon as the Northern store could get some CDs in. Well, Courtney Love is, she's fun, wild, hot. I wish I could see her. Why won't you take a picture? I won't be able to see her because I'll have to go hunting geese for the winter f food and can't go to the concert. What I think is good about being a teenager in Tuff is you learn more traditional things. All the boys know how to hunt. Their fathers, grandfathers teach them. All of us girls, I don't know one girl my age that doesn't know how to sew. What's bad about living in Tuck is we don't have all those fun things that they have down south. Like, we don't have a movie theater, we don't have a mall. There's mainly nothing for us to do except hang out. <laughs> <laughs> the concert is a big thing here in Tuck. It's going to be my 19th birthday, and all my friends and I are just going to have a ball. What about being in the Arctic? What surprised you about climbing? There's being? no ice, man. Where is <laughs> the ice? There's no pole. I'll tell you what. In that Molson thing, they had people dancing dance around a t shirt <laughs> fountain. They big old campfire. <laughs> and an iceberg floating. I haven't seen them build me a campfire in yet. Shorts and and lawn I still don't see any icebergs floating around there. That, that was a whole bogus advertisement there, I'd say. For a party where everyone in town is invited, it doesn't look that way. Molson still considers this a very private party. Anyone without an invitation won't find a welcome mat. We're crashing the Polar Beach Party. Why? Why not? <laughs> How about because you'll have to camp right on the Arctic Ocean? But that's not enough to stop Karen Lipinski and Lori Bates from Delaware. Yes. We're both eating at a restaurant. We're not even allowed to go into the places and sit. That's right. I so that we've, we have survived every, every obstacle. I don't think that the little well, red mesh fence is going to be much yeah. of an obstacle.
The load-in continues with equipment barged up the Columbia River. Plenty of activity to catch, but the people of Tuck aren't here. They're asleep. They don't start their day or open their store until 2 p.m. Friend and I were shopping at Northern for, for our children. There's maybe 20 girls my age here in town. <laughs> maybe eight of us have children. How old is she? She's 15 months. I have two boys, a four-year-old and an eight-month-old baby. They're a handful, but I manage. Private charter planes carrying the high-priced talent hit gravel runway. While in Tuktoyaktuk, the stars stay at the only place they can, the Tuk Inn. The accommodations aren't what they're used to, but when the headline act makes a rumored million dollars to play a beer promotion, musicians make allowances. <laughs> metal fans never dreamed Metallica would play here. Up until now, their music has only been a bedroom experience. The road crew sound check. Tuck's chilly backdrop shows up the rock world in a new weird light. It looks a lot more silly up here. The security seems overblown, the volume ludicrous, almost as ludicrous as the behavior of celebrity poltergeist Courtney Love. You got a chance to see any of the um, <laughs> Metallica or that fun old girl or any of them? <laughs> well, we saw a yeah, fun old girl. Saw, we, yeah, we saw Courtney Love. Listen, Believe I gave me. her a compliment, something she wasn't deserving, because that was an awful mess of makeup she had on. But I, I took a picture, and I said, oh, you look beautiful, you got my face. <laughs> <laughs> you ask before you take a picture. I mean, she had lipstick all the way around here like this. And that's when Lori looked over and, oh, my God, he got I way think, out of yeah, hand. Yeah, I take my uh, the video camera up to get a picture of her because I heard her yelling at Karen. And I, I looked at it later on. I didn't get anything. And all of a sudden, she said, I got no pictures. And I was on that hand going back. And she had a long strap on her purse. And I put the camera down real quick. And caught, caught me right on the front of my face. Hit me with the purse. Knocked my glasses off, and then she went running over with her heels trying to stop him. You know, bitch, bitch, trying to get my glasses. I mean, it's like a survival pack having sunglasses. I was like ready to knock her down, beat her up. I was like, I don't care if you're Courtney Love or not, man. So, tell me, how long is it till the concert? Only 12 hours. I can't wait. It's going to be big. Really big? Really. Holy cow, that's too big. I mean, wow. It's late Saturday afternoon and all the bands have arrived. There have been rock star sightings in the streets of Taktayaktik. Everyone's hyped, but not everyone's happy. Molson's is well aware of the sensitivity with alcohol in the Arctic, and because of that, they've agreed not to serve beer at the concert. But still, that's not good enough for some people. Well, if this had been sponsoring, like, something for AIDS or cancer, you know, something positive, something positive to coming out of this, um, I wouldn't have mind, but it's all promoting alcohol. In return for holding the concert in Tuck, it's Molson's the kids will thank when they get a youth center. Especially for the teenagers, um, their youth center, teenage youth, yeah, youth center, You know, it'll show the teenagers that they got it from the Molson. Like they provided, Molson was the one that provided the youth center for them. A beer promotion held in a place where it's illegal to sell beer is an uncomfortable irony that refuses to go away. Do you think it matters that Molson's sponsoring the concert in a so-called dry town? Tuck as they say, is not 
a dry tongue. Everyone thinks it is, but we have we have booze, we have drugs, like it's like any other tongue. It's mainly the same all over. You say it's a dry tongue, but it isn't. How do you get the stuff? Like if if you're not supposed to get it, how do, how do people get it? What, uh, is it expensive? Like being hard to get? People get their booze and drugs from Inuvik or wherever they can. And they sell it around here more than double the price of what they normally buy. Can you tell me what the price of it is? For a 40 in Tuck is $100. For a joint, it's 20 In the drawer. Tell me what's happened tonight so far. Uh, we've had two domestic complaints of domestic disputes. Uh, we've got two individuals lodged because of that. We've also had uh, complaints of young kids drinking around town. Uh, the result is we've lodged one because of that. has improved drastically. Our file count has been dropping every year now. We're uh, 100 files quieter than we were last year. There's not as much alcohol abuse as there was in the past. Uh, Community is doing things. They've got uh, House of Hope Alcohol Center uh, that has uh, meetings. It's, it's open five days a week during the day for counseling sessions. They have meetings during the evenings. They uh, run social events. I've heard of Metallica, but I don't know none of the name of their songs they play. <laughs> Something like uh, heavy. We need to plug our ears because it'll be too much noise, eh? But, uh, I like to see it with my own eyes, though. Okay. Where are you from? Charlotte, Charlotte North, North Carolina. Carolina. Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Edsel, Ontario. Vegas. Las Vegas. What do you think of the North? Well, it's, it's a lot colder here. Cold. It's darn cold. Real. <laughs> We're We're damn damn sure. I don't see how they can't let us in. What are you going to do about Karen Lipinski and Lori Bates from Delaware? Well, you know, they've been really, really awful to a lot of our people, and, and we had always said it was a rule. If anyone came all the way up here and they were nice, we were going to let them in. But I think we're just going to let these girls wait a bit, but we're probably going to let them in later. Oh, were you? I didn't see you. Oh, I was watching you and then the other lady singing. Oh, yeah? I didn't even know you sang it by guitar. Yeah. 
pushing these with the Miley. I didn't see you. I'm Wave so sorry. I would have no, definitely waved. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys for the extra. Pretty good. Cool. I'm glad uh, you liked it. Oh, this is hoping you guys come back more often. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I would love to. Yeah. Metallica management approached us, told us we went about it the wrong way, and that we had uh, upset a few people, and that maybe next time when we attempted to crash a place, we might do it a little bit better. And they handed them out to us, and now we're going inside through security. You missed Lloyd, but you're on your own. <laughs> I wish I could help. I love it. Sorry. I don't give a fuck. Courtney yeah. had a message for Canada oh, that you great. and uh, yeah. she are finally tying the knot. Yeah. She proposed to me this morning, okay. and I accept it. I think a relationship's going to last until we get to know each other. What did you think? Fucking awesome! <laughs> For a 19th birthday, this was the best thing. I don't think anyone's had a 19th birthday in Tuck like this. Tomorrow will be the same as any other day, but we'll always remember today. <laughs> For the National. I'm Lori Brown in Taktayakta. Stay with us. When our national magazine returns, the Bernardo trial and the Homolka deal was just served. Hear Rex Murphy's point of view when we come back.